So should you upgrade your GPU now or should you wait until the RTX 50 series comes out? What GPU is worth it? It's going to depend on what you have now. Let's start off at a pretty easy example. If you have a more recent like RTX 40 series GPU, for example, you can probably hold off on upgrading. I know the people who have 4090s are probably going to want a 5090 right away when it comes out. And that's understandable. I'm probably going to be like that too if you want like the top shelf GPUs. But what if you have something like a 4080 Super and earlier this year you just spent a thousand dollars on it and all of a sudden in a few months you see a 5080 Super for that same thousand dollars. What do you do? Do you sell your 4080 Super? It's probably going to lose a decent amount of its value. Might be worth five, six hundred bucks or something like that. And then you get a 5080 Super. Who knows if the VRAM is going to be different, but you can assume that the rasterization performance on something like a 5080 Super is probably going to be close to what a 4090 is now. That would be my guess and based on some speculation. And also remember, they can't make these GPUs too powerful or else they might get banned from going into certain countries because of AI and things like that. So let's say hypothetically that a 4080 Super now, $999, gets you know replaced by a 5080 regular 5080 and that GPU costs the same and is about a 4090 in performance maybe a little better but probably a little bit less VRAM I don't know if that's really worth it because some of the 4080 super buyers now didn't really buy a 4090 because they figured the 4080 super performance was going to be enough. So that's going to be the same thing. Even though it's the same price as a 4080 super, you already lost your money on the 4080 super because you're not going to be able to sell it for what you paid for, especially if a 5080 comes out. So those guys, I think, should stay put. And now let's hear a word from our sponsor, VIP-CDKDeals.com, a Windows Pro CD key. Add to cart, you put in code CC20. This will also work on Windows 11. You want to go into your settings in Windows, change and adjust your CD key, click activate. And now let's go back to the video. If you got anything like a 4070 Super, 4070 Ti Super, I don't think there's any reason to upgrade. That's going to be, and obviously even a 4090, if you don't want to be on the you know the latest and greatest 5090 just to get a little bit more performance or even if it's a decent bump up the cost is going to be pretty expensive because the 4090s may start going down in price pretty hard depending when the 5090 comes out and how good that ends up being so 40 series, I would say logically, obviously, because there's always the emotion side that you want the newest GPU. That's completely understandable. And then in that sense, it's hard to argue against and you just you know recoup some of the costs where you spent and go have fun. But if you want to save a little money and be logical, I think maybe RTX 40 series GPU owners should probably stay put. You have DLSS 3. The GPUs are very good already. The only exception is, let's say if you had a 4070, right? but you want to step up to maybe a, a much higher level, then it may be worth it. Like, let's say going from a 4070 and you have a little more budget, you want to do a 5080, that's going to be a pretty sizable increase, especially if you're going to game like at a 4K resolution or something like that. Then that would make a, you know a pretty decent case, but then you're going to know who you are if that's what exactly fits you. Now, 30 series owners, I think they're going to be a lot more likely to upgrade, especially 3060, 3070. We didn't really see huge jumps in performance on the 70 series GPUs and even on the 80 was a little lukewarm. The 90, like the 3090, obviously going to a 5090 is going to be huge. Even going from a 3090 to a 5080, which is more reasonably priced, that's going to be a nice performance bump. So I think those those are going to be a, you know, a, a nice market and Nvidia probably all its targets at least a generation or two behind because they know a lot of buyers who just spent money on like a 4080 may not necessarily want a 5080. Now, obviously anything older than that is going to be a little bit trickier with amd i mean the only use case i can see is if you have an amd like you know 7800 xt or 7900 and you want to jump back over to nvidia then obviously it might be a good time with the rtx 50 series but the caveat here is we have to see what amd releases for their next generation gpus they can have something that's highly competitive with nvidia i mean like a 7900 xtx was pretty competitive and the pricing wasn't bad 
that, even though AMD always gets a little bit lukewarm with gamers, it certainly performed pretty well. So we have to see what happens on the AMD front, but I think anything 30 series or older, you may want to look at a 50 series GPU and see if something will fit your budget because the performance difference is going to be pretty big, especially considering you're going to be getting DLSS 3 or 3.5, whatever version comes out with the next generation. That's going to definitely up your performance you know, tremendously, as well as likely being a lot more efficient than your RTX 3000 GPU, your 3080, 70, 3090s. They're still fine GPUs, but they're definitely getting a little bit long in the tooth now with all of the you know different ray tracing and upscalers that like DLSS 3 that have come out during the last few years. So that's basically what I think. Um, RTX 40 series, most likely you stay put unless you want to jump like a, a tier, you want to go to a higher grade GPU. RTX 30 series, that's when you should probably be looking to upgrade because you're going to get a pretty nice, you know, feature as well as performance boost. And obviously anything older or AMD might be a time as well to take a look, but it's going to depend on what Nvidia actually gives us with the price and performance. The market could be pretty funny. It could be sold out. They could make, you know, very little because they're focusing on AI and then these GPUs are expensive and hard to get. Then that's going to change the game completely. We're really just sort of, you know, theorizing based on like optimal conditions of like a regular release. So we'll see what happens. Remember to stay subscribed for more GPU tips like this, and I'll see you guys on the next video.